I am now explaining how to migrate to the identity collector, starting by learning login events. So we first integrate the identity collector to the Active Directory. In order to learn identity login events, so first we define the domain as an identity source, we define a query pool, and then we will see the login events. The identity collector is installed on a Microsoft Windows server. You can select one of the supported operating systems. But keep in mind that the server itself does not need to be part of the domain. Like here in this case, it's just a Windows server because all I need is access to the libraries for the Microsoft API. So you configure the identity collector by adding a new domain. You specify the username who is part of the event log reader group, and then you make a connectivity test. And the connectivity test is trying even an RPC connection. You can check in the relevant log file, for example, if the RPC for the connectivity test has failed. That might be to the firewall being enabled on the Active Directory server and not allowing this communication or other networking devices that are protecting the AD server. Once you have defined your domain, you go to Identity Sources and you add a new identity source. Here in our lab, I'm just having one domain controller. We then create a query pool. And after we have defined the query pool, we see that the symbol for the Active Directory identity source is getting green and we have a status connected. Once the identity collector is running and has a connected state, you see that you are collecting login events from the Active Directory. We can get some more details by enabling the logins monitor. And when users are logging on, we see the username and the IP address.